Hey everybody, I'd like to welcome you all here to my shop and hopefully you're having a great day and hopefully it's about to get a little bit better. Uh, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Matt and today I'm going to be showing you uh, how I made this set of Red Oak coasters. I actually have these coasters available for sale on my Facebook page and soon they'll be up on my website at briarcw.com. But I'll jump into the process here for these and it's actually pretty simple. Normally I would mill my own stock from either eight or five quarter rough sawn lumber, but I just wanted to knock this project out quickly. So I actually went and bought some pre-sized lumber from the big box store. The dimensions on this piece here is two feet long and it's a three and a half inch wide piece at a quarter of an inch thick. And I'll be taking that on the cross cut sled and cutting squares at three and a half inches by three and a half inches. And these will actually make up the coasters themselves. Now that I have the coasters cut out to their rough shape, I'll start by applying an edge treatment to each of them with an eighth of an inch round over bit on the router. I apply this to just the top face and leave the bottom square. I'll actually clean that edge up on the belt sander in the next step. Now that the edge is routed, I take all six coasters over to the belt sander here and clean up all four edges as well as the faces on all of these. And then I'll turn them upside down and break the edges of the bottom so that it's smooth to the touch with no sharp 90 degree corners anywhere on the coaster. Now that the shape's formed and we brought them up to a finished sanding at 220 grit with a belt, it's over to the workbench where they're going to get their first coat with a spray-on shellac. While that shellac dries, I'll turn my attention to prepping the stock for the coaster holder itself, which starts by trimming my five and a half inch wide stock down to five inches exactly. Then much like I did with the coasters themselves, I'll cross cut them down into five inch by five inch squares. With the stock prepped for the holder, I move on to using my combination square to lay out the center punches for the through holes that will actually hold the dowels, which hold the coasters in place on the holder. The idea being here to allow the coasters to fit in securely, but make sure that they don't fit too tightly in the space so that they're easy to still remove that I'm shooting for about a sixteenth of an inch extra on all four sides. Next it's over to the drill press where I'll take the Forstner bit to drill those through holes in each of the locations where I center punched. With the holes drilled it's over to the sander to bring the holder up to 220 grit with the random orbit and much like with the coasters I apply the same eighth inch round over on the router to the top of the holder itself. Now I take the 3 8 inch dowel stock that I purchased and rough cross cut them uh, here on the sled to make in them into smaller, more manageable pieces. And then I'll actually bring them back one more time to bring them to final length. I do want to mention that I did go and actually trim these down even further so that the dowels were nearer to the final height of the coasters when they were all stacked up on the holder. And then it's on to final assembly. For this I just use some super glue in each of the four holes and use a mallet to set the dowels in. While I wait for the super glue to dry on the holder, I gave each of the six coasters a quick sanding with 400 grit paper by hand to rough up the shellac and smooth any high spots on the finish before going back and applying a second coat to each. And now that the glue is dry on the holder, I apply the first coat of shellac to it, being careful to go very lightly on the dowels because I want to avoid drips on the finish. I did end up going back and actually spraying one final coat of shellac to the base, but that was effectively the entire process all laid out. It's actually a pretty simple project that you can do with a variety of species of wood, and you can even laminate different types together to make a pattern, or engrave something on the face before you go finish the coasters. I hope that you enjoyed the video. I'm actually looking forward to putting some more of these out as I work my way through my holiday catalog this year. And like I said, if you're interested in ordering a set of these coasters for yourself, they are available for purchase on my Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash briarcw. And soon they'll be on my website as well at briarcw.com. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you on the next one.